Okay, cool. So after we create the admin user, we can start to create our first collection and add records. So for example, here I would like to show you um, to create, for example, this tool. Um, it's a website called uh, toolhand.dev. It's a very, very cool and very beautiful um, website that you can see lots of tool that uh, I can use. And yeah, we can create a sort of this website later. So the first thing here, we can say it's tools and add field. And we can say it's name field. And then the type, there is a lot of uh, field type and we can just say it's it's a text and then let's say it's description and then we can add the logo or even even the image so here we can see file and then there is a max file i will just use one since it's a logo and then the min types uh, you can see here for example if you wanted to upload only png you can use uh, image slash png and there is a preset here for example image i will use image here so and then um, there is thumb size that you can create uh, additional thumbnails um, the, the default one is 100 by 100 and it's it's like uh, it's like for the the lazy loads when it's lazy loads uh, it will generate or using the first 100 by 100 and then opening the, the, the real uh, image so here it's the default i will just make sure it's cool and then let's say it's the pricing okay um pricing here see sorry uh it's url yeah it should be the tool url and then the pricing we can try to use multiple choice you can say it's pricing here um let's say it's it's free premium and premium okay cool so yeah let's create okay after we create the collection we need to create the new the record and um, let's start with the company that i'm working on <laughs> sorry for that but i love the company i love the product customize um customize illustrations with okay, let's say one click and then we can upload the logo i have the logo here and then we can go to https design stripe.com and we can say it's premium okay we create here and then we uh, uh, create a new record um let's say it's notion what is notion all in one um tool um let's say it's all in one document organizer and then we can have logo the notion one and then https um, notion dot so thing yeah uh premium we create one and the latest one uh the last one um let's say it's figma design tools for everyone that just pulled by uh, uh, just by Adobe uh, Shark <laughs> Sharks, okay. Uh, let's upload the logo. HTTPS and Figma.com. Let's say it's premium, okay. Let's create, okay. Uh, just for the sake of our example, I will change this as free. Okay, and then I will change the notion as premium. Okay, so yeah, the next thing, if we wanted to fetch this, uh, we can say we can see here um, in the collection, and we can start to using this in our app. 
um, but you can see the requires um, it need to be admin token as the header um, why it's happened because we have uh, we have set no any API rules that um, pocket base have to set up we can go to edit collection and then we can go to API rules and you can see there is um, five actions which is list a view create update and and delete so the list action is for the listing all the things and then the view action is for viewing the the one record and create update and delete so the two things that we need to make it public or not only admins is the list and view so let's say view you can unlock leave empty to grant everyone access that means public so we save save change okay and we already good and let's build the app in the next video